here, like California time, but it's really like it's really like after six o'clock in Florida, so I cannot force myself to sleep any longer. So I decided I'm gonna go ahead and get up and make some lunches for today's hiking trip. Take you guys along with me. I'm also boiling some eggs so that I can have eggs later. Anyone can have eggs, like they'll just be sitting in the refrigerator available. All right, you guys, it is now six, almost 6.30 local time. So, got some coffee made. I'm about to go sit out, have some coffee, and then we are leaving to head to the Joshua Tree. So we are almost ready to go, but I actually forgot to um, purchase a national park pass for the year. So it's just more affordable if you purchase a pass, like for all of the parks, it's $80 um, for a yearly pass versus like each time you go, I think it's like, um, depending upon the park, it can be $15 a car, $30 a car, you could pay per person, but we are going to go ahead and purchase a pass for the year. Okay, so as you can see, we're trying to buy one for the year. Price is $80 for one full year. That's what we're gonna do. Let's see, where can we buy it? Oh, buy now. One, yes, okay. But I guess there's a $5 shipping fee, even though you're gonna email it to me? Okay. Okay, so apparently the $5 fee is because they actually do yeah. ship it to you. Um, so I hope that this is something I probably should have done earlier. So I hope that they'll be okay with just taking a copy of the receipt. We'll see. I'll let you guys know how it goes. We made it. We're gonna hop out and get some quick photos. You guys, we were so excited to make our way to Joshua Tree. To be quite honest, even though we had did a little bit of research online, we really had no real true expectations um, for this state park. Um, we just kind of like got out of the car and started exploring. We actually arrived there before the main office was even open. So we just grabbed a map and we just went out and just started hitting the trails. Oh my gosh, it was such a beautiful day. It was incredibly hot. I do want to say that it was really hot. Like it is so hot in the desert, like so hot. But we made the best out of it. And I do want to add, um, to be completely honest, I thought that I would get 10,000 steps like while I was here at the National Park. But, you know, rookie here, I didn't take into effect that, you know, when you're walking over a different terrain, going up and down steps, climbing up and down like rocks and stuff, that that same 10,000 steps is not the same as like 10,000 steps walking on flat land in Florida. But yeah, so like I did get my 10,000 steps, but we definitely did a ton of walking. We tried to make sure we stayed hydrated. I had a great time. Kids had a great time. My husband had a great time. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. So beautiful and peaceful out here. Love it. Love it. Time for a water break. I will definitely 
they say it is a lot in the Florida. It's a lot more dry. So we just got back. I'm about to have some chips and salsa. I think I'm gonna melt this cheese on top in the microwave. And I had three eggs, I ate one, so I'm gonna finish those. It's currently 10, it's currently 1026. So I'm gonna eat a little bit and probably lay down, maybe take a nap and hydrate, drink some more water and see what I can get into next. So far, I only have like 5,600 steps, so I've got a lot more work to do at some point today. But right now, I just want to eat. I have a huge white cast from the sunscreen. So I'm also gonna have one of these. This is my first one this weekend. So I'm gonna have this water and everything else I showed you. You guys ever find yourself eating on vacation just because you can, like out of boredom? That's what I'm doing now. So I'm gonna make myself a salad because I'm starting to snack. <sighs> so at this point, I had awakened from, I don't know, my first or second nap from the day. And I decided to go ahead and make a salad for myself and my husband. You can see here, his salad is the first one where I'm dumping like all of those croutons and cranberries and almond sliced almonds all of the stuff in the packets i dumped all of that on his salad and then i divvied out um the salmon between the two of us so this was a total of eight ounces of salmon it should have been split evenly but look <laughs> i think i probably had a little bit more salmon than him but i think it's fair he had the almonds so as far as protein is concerned even split overall Right here, I just had to go tell my son to handle that trash. Like, why is it sitting there on the counter? And I'm snacking some more on watermelon here. I was just so hungry. I think that between like burning calories from hiking and also with the heat, like you just don't realize how, I don't know. Like, I was just really hungry. I was ready to eat. So as I was preparing these salads, I just kept, I just kind of kept snacking in between. <laughs> there I go again. <laughs> you guys, I needed calories. Just woke up from a nap and obviously I still have not washed the sunscreen from my face. I'll do that at some point, but it's so hot here. So I have some salad and yes, I'm eating in bed. <sighs> Vacation style. Checking in with you guys in a little bit. Babe, are you enjoying your salad in bed? <laughs> of course I am. This is the best salad I've had all day. <laughs> the only salad you've had all day. <laughs> 30 in the afternoon my husband and the kids are at the pool I'm showered in pajamas and I'm going to bed I'm tired I had a long week at first I felt a little guilty I was like maybe I should go to the pool too but the truth of the matter is that I'm tired so I'm gonna take a little nap and tomorrow we are going to Death Valley but it's like the hottest place on earth well, at least in the U.S. could be on Earth. I need to do a little bit more research. But um, in order to explore before it gets too, too hot, we have to leave here at like 3 o'clock in the morning. And I'm driving. So I don't feel guilty for going to bed. Good night.